Okay, I've often wondered how well AJ Lee would do in the current era of women's wrestling, since she was normally one of the IWC's most favorite wrestlers when it came to the Divas era. How well would she be remembered if she were to wrestle more in the current era? Now, of course, she was tremendously known for how well she was on the mic. And she's pretty good for in-ring matches. The three to four minutes she'd be given to have a match. She also actually defeated the entire roster in one match. Now, the weird thing is, she was always had the designs of being a wrestler. And now she's gone from wrestler to successful author. Then you go to Alexa Bliss. What we know of her past course, she's a fitness model turned professional wrestler. She is almost every single thing that AJ Lee probably would rail against. So, they're both diminutive in stature. We're talking, these are the, the, the five feet of Furies. They're both really strong characters. Both very skilled in the mic. So you know what? Let's put a ring and find out what happens. Now, as always, this is a lot of this is kayfabe. So, I try to take as much as I can from how they've been portrayed in the ring with a little bit of how they actually are as people. So, so as, and as always, as always, you know, if it ends up being like five to four person, five more likely would win, person with four, you know, could still eke out a victory. But as we go more and more through these, we'll. We'll kind of get an idea of how things are looking. Strength. Neither one of them are really considered physically dominant individuals. But we have seen Alexa Bliss do more strength-based moves. They're not doing power bombs, but we have seen Alexa Bliss do things that are more strength-based. Probably because she's had longer matches, so you can do more moves. Speed. AJ Lee takes this in spades easily. If you remember her style of wrestling, she was incredibly quick. Endurance. Head to, 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 don't start jamming on the keyboard. AJ Lee ended up being one of the most successful women's champions around the time when you had about five minutes, including entrances for matches. She did not have long matches. She could have had long matches, but at that time they were not being billed for long matches. Alexa Bliss has been in substantially longer matches than AJ Lee. It's not average. And it's because women are actually given time to do matches. With AJ, it was, well, the crowd doesn't care. Well, it's hard to develop a good match and to bring the crowd in, get them invested in what's going on in the ring, when you're given two minutes. Toughness. AJ Lee by a mile. One of the toughest things I think I ever saw her do, she was walking with uh, Dolph Ziggler and Biggie. Biggie used to do like a stretch move. And he popped her in the chest, not knowing she was standing right next to him. So this is Biggie pretty much backhanding her in the chest. She took it, kind of flinched her for about a quarter of a second, it was like, ugh. Just like, she got nailed in the chest by a large man. Back to skipping. And it was like, I'm pretty sure for a normal person, that would have been like a Mortal Kombat fatality when you see like someone explode from the impact from Big E punching you in the chest. And she just, heh, I've got this. So we're tied up. Going into the actual in ring abilities, striking. This is because Alexa Bliss, for a while, actually did use a punch as a finisher. Woman's right. Grappling. Oh, I'm sorry, this is AJ easily. Whether it was using Hurricane Ranas, whether it was using just a lot more uh, mat-based style. It was submission. Black Widow. She actually used submission holds. She used those to defeat opponents. High flying. Uh, 
Yeah, AJ Lee did do suicide. Actually, did do missile drop kicks a lot more than we see Alexa Bliss. Now, of course, when Bliss wrestled as Blue and White Princess Sparkle Cheerleader Fairy, that was her old NXT character. She did do more high flying, which now she has Twisted Bliss. That's really about it. That's all she really has for her her uh, off the ground repertoire of moves. Over with the crowd. When Bliss's music hits, the crowd actually pops. There is a pop for what it is she does. AJ Lee get a tremendous pop. And you know what? Here's what I give to AJ Lee. She was so popular. She was a general manager. They put a lot of time into that character. And you know what? They did it because the crowd super reacted. The crowd reacted a lot too to Alexa Bliss. But not the level of AJ Lee. The ring psychology. Both of these women portray the perfect I can't believe you kicked out of that kind of temper tantrum. But again I give it to Lee while they both have fantastic just visages when it comes to, or visage, when it comes to getting across the emotion in the ring. A.G. Lee had both the crazy side that she could pull off, as well as this kind of sweet, you don't want to hurt me sort of attribute too. So you could pull off the, the crazy, the wicked, the spiteful, as well as the sweet and innocent side and could throttle that emotion back and forth like it was nothing. Alexa Bliss does heal incredibly well. Could she still use that sympathy to get like a babyface sort of reaction? Kinda hard to tell. So far we haven't seen her do that yet. Does mean that she can't mean that certain currently we have not seen her do that. Mic work. Yes, a moment of bliss is fantastic. However, a moment of bliss is also pre-recorded. AJ Lee was given full sequences. When she was the general manager of Raw, she went out, she cut promos. She was given the latitude to do the pipe bomb. Whenever they put a live mic in front of her, you could tell Vince dug her. Vince allowed her to do what she wanted to do. You can tell when Vince sees something in a performer, they get a lot more latitude. And you see this a lot in both of them. You see this a lot when it came to the way that AJ Lee was allowed to do things. You see how Alexa Bliss is able to do things. There's more control on Bliss, and she has had segments that have bombed. Barely This Is Your Life bombed, and for that reason, she loses it in my corner. So if you put these two five foot down and dynamos together I think that AJ Lee flat out annihilates Alexa Bliss now would I like to run AJ Lee through like the four horsewomen and see how she stacks up maybe at a later date I'll see how well this video does